Good Sunday morning to you. I am Miss Sharon and this is Cooking Time, Cooking Day Sunday on the Story Train. Good morning boys and girls and anyone who's out there in Facebook land who wants to tune in. We're making a typical breakfast here on the Story Train. Um, nothing too extravagant. A lot of you families at home are making nice dinners today. Um, because it's a holiday. That's right, it is Easter. And I have some eggs here, and maybe we'll have time to paint these boys and girls, right? And those begin with the letter E. <laughs> e. <laughs> because the story train is about reading and writing. It's a literacy program for children or youngsters and the young at heart, like me. <laughs> Miss Sharon is young at heart, that's right. So we're here this morning in Miss Sharon's kitchen. And I have all my ingredients to make for my menu today, boys and girls. And my menu will consist of French toast and, and, and some vegetables, because we need to have our vegetables every day. And also we'll make some chocolate chip cookies. How's that, boys and girls? Won't that be so nice? <laughs> so, we'll just start with our little song that we sing every time on Story Train. Hello, hello, and welcome to the show. Hello, hello, there's something you should know. Hello, hello, I'm so glad that you are here. It's so nice to spend some time with you. We're friends forever true. Hello, hello, and welcome to the show. I said hello. Hello, there's something you should know. Hello, hello, I'm so glad that you are here. It's so nice to spend some time with you. We're friends forever true. That's right, boys and girls. So today is Easter. For a lot of you, you're at home and you're with your brothers and sisters and maybe your mommy and daddy, but maybe you're not able to visit with your grandma and your grandpa and your and your cousins maybe today you don't you, you're not going to be able to go and visit with the the people that you usually spend Easter with but you just enjoy your day with who you're with and right now you can join me I'm here and good morning Victoria nice to see you happy Easter <laughs> I'm here making a typical breakfast though <laughs> using ingredients that I had at my home because I didn't really want to go out to the supermarkets this week. So we, we're going to have French toast and chocolate chip cookies. Okay, that's what we're going to do this morning, boys and girls. So let's see, we sang our song and I think that, oh, and look, at it's a new day, boys and girls. That's right, it's a new day, the sun came up. Here it is right here. The sun comes up every day, boys and girls. Mr. Sun, and it's a brand new day, and Mr. Sun comes up, right? So even if, you know what, you know when you just don't even think about yesterday, even if it was a good day or a bad day, it doesn't matter because today's a new day, boys and girls, and we just make the best of every new day, and we're so happy. The sun comes up every day. Gives us a chance to have a, a, um, another chance at another good day. So we sing for the sun, right? We're happy. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. Every morning, the sun comes up, boys and girls. <laughs> and we're so happy, right? And then we have a good day, and then the sun goes down at the end of the day, and we go to sleep, and then we wake up, and then it comes up again. <laughs> That's a routine that will always be there, boys and girls. It's always the same. The sun comes up every day. So, we're up this morning. I hope that you have some little bit of breakfast for you. Happy Easter. Happy Easter, Evelyn. Um, and I hope you have something nice for breakfast this morning. 
Um, although I am going, going out to be making some breakfast, so we can share that, boys and girls. Sharon has her tea. See, I have my tea every morning after my coffee. Because Miss Sharon's a grown-up, so she gets to have some coffee. <laughs> Coffee's for grown-ups. There we go. I'll put my tea right here, boys and girls. So, I wonder if the Easter money came for you. I mean, he did make the rounds, or maybe he didn't. But we won't really talk about that, because he, we'll talk about breakfast. <laughs> Let's just talk about having breakfast. Good morning, Jen. Good morning. I hope Malia's there. And Al. <laughs> Good morning. All right, so we have all of our ingredients here. I have something so special to show you, but I just want to wait till a couple of more boys and girls come on. I have a special new clock, boys and girls, that goes around like a choo-choo train. Look at that. Oh, yes, but we'll just give that a couple of minutes till we make... Oh, because it makes a choo-choo train noise. I have a new clock. I have the other one, too, but that's in my living room. Okay, so right now... This one can travel with me everywhere. <laughs> I'm going to take that. I love choo-choo trains. And that's why we have the story train. Because Miss Sharon loves... Good morning. Bona Pasqua. That's right. Bona Pasqua. Exactly. Oh, that means, that, that means Happy Easter in Italian. In a different language, boys and girls. But we speak English here, so we won't we'll be saying Happy Easter. So I have my ingredients, boys and girls. Right? And... I have that all ready, so why don't we start, you know what we need to do? Because we're going to make chocolate chip cookies this morning. And so we need to turn on the oven over here, but only grown-ups get to do this, boys and girls, not children. So I'm going to press the bake button. That means to turn it on. I'm going to press the start button. You hear that beep? That means the oven is now going to warm up because I have chocolate chip cookie mix. <laughs> Look at that. It's all ready to be to be baked. Hopefully that'll come out pretty good. And then we have we have some we have our bread for French toast. We have some bread right here. And let's see. So we could do that first, although it would be nice. I think maybe if we sing happy birthday to some of our friends. Good morning, Mark. Happy Easter. Tell your mom I said happy Easter, too. Um, I think this morning, where is my little, there's my crystal ball, boys and girls. That's for all the boys and girls so I can say hello to them, right? That's right. All the boys and girls, good morning, David. <laughs> but this is, I'm saying hello to all the boys and girls at home because I have their names. I have everyone's name, but I only have enough time to say some names this morning every morning because I couldn't possibly say hello to all of the children that would everyone that would take me days so I would like to say good morning to Hazel and Winter and also Hayden and Bailey I see you there good morning and I see Wendy good morning that's my name too Sharon Wendy and I see Allie and Aubrey and Allison and Logan oh so many children they're here for cooking time, cooking day Sunday on the story train. I see Isabella and Siciliana, and I see CJ, and I see Otis, and who else? I see Kara and Camille and Christina and Malia and Maya and Bailey and Lucia, and I see Alazne and Rose and her dad Gregory. Good morning. Who else do I see? Good morning, David. <laughs> I see Elsie and Hannah. Oh, we're just going to have such a beautiful day. The sun looks like it's shining where I am. And that means the sun's up. We already know that. So <laughs> that's, we hear on the story train. Boys and girls, at, it's Easter in a lot of homes today, all around the world. Right? Oh, Andrea, wait, look at that. I see. I see Andrea in my crystal ball. And I see, who's that? I see Logan. I see Logan. Good morning, Logan. Wow, 
Thank you for joining Miss Sharon on the story train. Children. So if you have a child at home, parents, please let me know. Write it in the comments. I can see them, and I'll say a special hello. All right. So also, boys and girls, and all of the grown-ups at home, there are boys and girls out there, and it is their birthday today, and they are unable to celebrate it the way birthdays usually are are celebrated. They're unable to do that because everybody's at home. So every day we sing a special birthday to, I turn on my little candle here, see that? There we go. That's the story train birthday candle. And we sing a special birthday and if we sing loud enough, the boys and girls will hear us and it will make them feel so special to know that someone's thinking about them on their birthday and that so many of us are so please join me they can feel the energy right here it would make them feel so good boys and girls at home if it's their birthday so this is for you because I know it's your birthday that's right and this is going to be a special song for you ready everyone sing nice and loud happy we're well, doing it two times because it's a special day happy birthday to you happy birthday to you Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Again. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Now blow out the candle. It's your special day. There you go. Good job. I just want you to know that it's a special day if it's your birthday, right? And maybe you're not able to spend it with your teacher. Well, it's Sunday. So you would, but maybe they would be, you would see them tomorrow and you would have a little thing at school. But so today will be your special birthday French toast day. How's that? That's for you if it's your birthday today. <laughs> All right. So we turned on the oven because we're going to be making chocolate chip cookies, boys and girls. And we sang. I'm just trying to be organized here. <laughs> I think it's time to make the French toast. Why don't we do that? Let's get started with that. How about a little music? Should we do that this morning? It is a happy day. Happy Day Sunday. Let's have that. How about a little music? Maybe? I don't want it to be too loud. How about if we love music? <laughs> Does she likes to have music when she cooks. We'll just put that right there. That is pretty. And we like to sing. We like to sing songs. All right. So let's get ready. Let's, let's get... Oh, we need to wash our hands first, boys and girls. Turn that down. I can't concentrate with the music. Colin, what do you think this is? We'll go and wash our hands. And we're going to say the alphabet two times when we wash our hands. We have to wash our hands every time we do things. That's the new, that's what you should be doing anyway, is all right? So you can talk or you can sing the ABCs if you want to. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, P. Oh, nice hot water. I see steam coming up there. Okay. There we go. That's nice and clean. There. Yeah. We have a nice clean kitchen towel that we use. I like to use my kitchen towel. And, okay, let's make some French toast, shall we? It's time, just about now. Put some butter in the pan. French toast with some butter. That's how we'll make that. Oh, yes. Put that over there. We have two eggs, boys and girls. We're going to make French toast with two eggs. We're going to mix them up in the pan, right? Mix them up in the bowl. So we crack them, here, help me. Ready? We do one. Whoa, did you see that? I'm sure you did. <laughs> and then we have, we'll crack another one. Miss Sharon can crack an egg with one hand. What do you think about that? Whoa, wasn't that a good one? There we go. All right, that's good. Hand off. Now we're gonna mix the eggs. 
You can help me. Okay. I really need help mixing the eggs. You can help me do this. We have our bread ready. We have our syrup. Maple syrup. I'm going to mix this. Ready, boys and girls? Watch. That's how you mix it. We're going to put a little milk in there because we're going to make French toast. There we go. And we're mixing the eggs. Mixing the eggs. You're helping me. Thank you so much. We'll put a little bit of milk in there. This is going to be such tasty French toast. Just a little bit. There we go. Not too much. We're going to, we have our pan. And I'll turn on the stove. That's not for you to do. Okay. Know your place. Let's see. We'll turn this on. What is it? This one. All right. I'm going to let the butter just simmer in there for a minute. And we'll just mix those eggs. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> because it's French toast day. French toast. We'll have French toast, boys and girls. Let's see. So we have two nice pieces of whole whole wheat grain bread. <laughs> because that's what Miss Sharon has in her refrigerator right now at home. Because couldn't go to the supermarket. You know, makes nice French toast, boys and girls. French bread. <laughs> French bread or Italian bread, and you just get a big loaf and you slice them nice and thick. But I didn't have any of those. So we're using our oh, oh, 21 grain whole grain bread <laughs> for that. So let's just get a little plate right here. There we go. I'm going to put that here because we need to be ready. We're going to put that in the pan in one minute. That'll be cooking. There. Play a little. All right. So why don't we also, while we're just waiting for that to melt a little bit, right, boys and girls? Just waiting for that butter to melt so we can make the French toast. Oh, that's melting now. And the oven is on, and that's good for the cookies. Actually, we could be doing that right now. We can do more things. We can do more than one thing at a time, boys and girls. We can. It's called multitasking, right? Your mommy and daddy know how to do that, right? You'll learn. So right now, we can make French toast. And while that's going to be cooking, we can also put the cookies, cookie mix in the pan to make our cookies. All right. So I think that's good. The butter is melted. And... Here we go. The egg is mixed for our French toast. We'll just put that right there, boys and girls. Now you ready? This is what you do. You just take a piece of bread, any kind of bread actually, and you dip it in the egg. See that? You push that down nice like that, and you turn it over. So now it has nice egg, egg wash all over it. Egg wash, egg wash. There we go. And then we take this piece of bread, boys and girls. I'll do it for you, okay? Because you can't be leaning over the stove. And we put one in here. Oh, isn't that so nice? And then we take our second piece of bread. We do wish that we had some French bread or some Italian bread because that makes the best French toast. But all we have on hand in the refrigerator is this 21 grain, <laughs> 21 grain bread. Okay, here we go. And we'll just put that one right in there. So they can just sit there and cook those two pieces of bread. And then we can go in the sink with a little bit of water on it. All right. And we'll wash those after. And now it's time, while that's cooking there for a minute, to, to put some cookies on the cookie sheet. Some, we'll do our cookies now. Right? We'll have a little sip of tea. And alrighty, alrighty then. So one by one, we just, these are teaspoon filled with cookie dough. And we'll put that right there and we'll just make a cookie sheet of, of cookies for you. Because it's a good day today. We're going to do that. We'll do as many as we can right now. Can 
can't do all of it because we would need too many cookie sheets. We don't want them too big, right? Here we go. We should probably be doing it like this. It might be easier if we did that. Look at that. Okay. It might be easier if we do this. How's that? Oh, that's a lot easier. There we go. in the pan. All right? I think we could make six today. We don't have to make all of them. We could just do, well, we'll do nine. Are you counting? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One more. And nine. Okay. That's plenty of cookies for us for today. That'll be good. And we'll put this over here. And I think we'll put this in the oven now. See, we'll just make nine cookies. We don't need to make more than that because we don't really have a lot of people coming over today. It's just a small amount for us. So that goes in, in the oven, <laughs> boys and girls. And that's, and, and these French toast, they're cooking in the frying pan, okay? Then we're also going to Heat up some broccoli, although I don't know if you like that kind of vegetable, boys and girls. A lot of you. But that's all that I had here this morning. And you need your vegetable. So we're going to just cook up a little bit of broccoli for you so that you can also have some, some vegetable. And we'll just turn that on over here. I hope that you'll have some with me, even though you might not like broccoli. All right, so why don't we talk about the alphabet while things are cooking here, right? We can do more than one thing at once. Why don't we talk about the alphabet just a little bit? Because, you know, I like to remind you of, you, of the alphabet every day. It's so important. So let's see. We have this board. We can put the alphabet up here. Let's see. How's that? Is that right? Oh, look at that. Doesn't that look so nice, CJ? Good morning, CJ. Look at Nani did the alphabet for you. <laughs> Nani, <laughs> good morning. My grandson just came on. Look, and Nani's making some French toast, and she's making some broccoli, and she's making chocolate chip cookies. That's what we're doing this morning. I have a very special, let's do that right now. I have a very special new choo-choo train clock. Look at this, boys and girls. Isn't this the nicest thing? This is such a nice clock. I mean, now I have two. I got this from my mother. My mother gave me this. Now watch what happens, boys and girls. Are you ready? I love the choo-choo train. Ready? Here it comes. <laughs> Choo-choo train. Look at that. It goes around inside the tunnel. Oh, oh. <laughs> this is the greatest. All right. Here we go. And then you press this button here. Ready? Press that with me. When it comes around, one more time. All right, now we'll press the button. That's right, it's story train time. We have our spatula because I think we have to turn over the French toast. So some children love broccoli. I see that Evelyn's children love broccoli. Good, because broccoli's so good. And I know CJ loves broccoli, so why not? It's nice to have a little broccoli. <laughs> I cooked this already, and now we're going to heat it up in the pan so you can have some with me this morning. We'll put just some. How's that? Oh, listen to that. That's going to be so tasty. That'll be the best broccoli ever. Here we go. That's plenty. All right. We'll turn that down a little. We want to just, we want to have our broccoli just warm enough for us to eat. Let's see how these are cooking. Oh, look. At, oh, CJ. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Logan. I hope you like French toast. Look at that. It's nice. See that? Oh, yeah, look at that. We love French toast. 
All right. So we'll just put that there. The broccoli's heating up. Let's turn it down a little bit lower. We don't want to lose our broccoli. And the French toast is almost done. And the cookies are in the oven. What a breakfast we're having. <laughs> so I thought what we could do, I'm just looking here at, you know what I have here, boys and girls. I have here eggs, right? I have three eggs. Now I know that you probably already painted your Easter eggs. Am I correct? You probably already did. But I thought it would be really interesting to do some together, right? So I have my paints. Look at that. I have my watercolor paints, and I thought that we could paint these together. We could try. That's all. We'll try. It's what I had at my house. I, I didn't really have a chance to go to the store to buy anything special. So we're doing what we can here at Miss Sharon's at kitchen. <laughs> Oh, good. It's fine. <laughs> That's fine. Well, there goes one. Live TV. <laughs> I love it. That's all right. So we have two eggs that we're going to be painting. <laughs> Let's see. We need a little water for the, wa for the watercolors. That's why they're called watercolors, because you need water. How's our French toast? Uh oh, keep an eye on everything, boys and girls. Oh, it's done, it's done. <laughs> All right, we have a plate here. We'll put the French toast. It's all ready now. We're gonna love that. One for you, <gasps> and one for me. Here we go, we'll have French toast. Oh, that's so tasty. And we have our broccoli all steamed up nice. Oh, see that? We have broccoli. We love this, don't we? So, let's do this. Why don't we... Well, you know, should we wait for the cookies, though? Yeah, let's just put this aside. We're just waiting for the cookies. Make sure the oven's off, the stove is off. There we go. We're just waiting on the cookies. Can you smell that? That smells so good. They're chocolate chip cookies. They're going to be so tasty. So we'll just wait on this for a minute. And let's try and paint a couple of... We have two eggs. <laughs> let's see. The paint's are right here. I have a paintbrush. So let's try some pretty colors. Let's see. Ready? What color do you like? Did you like, how about, let's see. We're doing this together. So I need you to tell me, look at that. See, this has been used by grandchildren. <laughs> so we're not quite sure what colors these are because they're all mixed together. Because <laughs> children do that. They put it here and then they dip it there, but we'll take a guess. This looks like the color blue to me. How about that one right there? Right? Oh, look at that. It's going to be so pretty. Is that blue? Oh, look at that. All right, let's give it a try. Ready? We're just, we're just making pretty designs on the eggs. We don't really have a plan. We're using our imagination, boys and girls, right? So we're going to, here we go. Ready? Let's see. Look at that. Well, isn't that nice? It really does work. Okay, so we can make a circle there. We could paint it like that. How's that? And we can make another, we can paint another color on there. We could dip that in there. So we're just making pretty colors on the Easter eggs. Let's try the color. How about a red? Red's nice, if that's red. Mm. Well, we'll see what color it is on the egg. Let's see. So that's blue. Let's try this color. What is that? <gasps> Look at that. Oh, it mixed right in with the blue. Well, let's just mix that. These are watercolors, so they all just mix in. And Miss Sharon isn't really much of an, you know, she does her the best she can. <laughs> How's that? That looks nice. Oh, we're just painting these. That's right. Let's see if we can find another color. How about, hmm. Too much water. How about the color? Is that a green? It looks like the color green. All right, so here we go. We'll try this one. Let's just not have too much water. Do that. There we go. That's better. How's that? Maybe it will be the, maybe, you know, you just don't know. It's a surprise. 
Oh, well, what do you think about that? What color is that? That looks like the color green to me. That's right. The color green. I bet your, your rags, you did your, yours with your mommy and your daddy, right? Or with your big sister or someone at home, right? And they probably did a nice job. <laughs> and you probably dipped them in, right? You probably didn't try it. But this is all that I had right now was a paintbrush. So we did a little bit of that. Isn't that so nice? So we'll just put that away for now, right? Until next year. <laughs> we'll paint some eggs next year. How's that? Oh, let's check the cookies, boys and girls. It's almost time. It's almost time. Oh, I think, I don't know, let me check. What do you think? Let's see. I think I smell that they're done. Oh, I think those are done. Look at us, we're so happy. You know what, we have a little, like that, a little rack of fun, and we can put the cookies on there so they can cool off. Here we go. There's one cookie. That's one cookie. Oh, how many of you? One cookie. <laughs> There's two cookies. Two. There's three. Can you count with me? There's three cookies. There, uh, there's number four cookies. There's number five cookie. Here's number six cookie. Here's number seven cookie, right? Number eight cookie. And number nine, nine cookies, boys and girls. That's how many cookies we made together. Look at that. Those are gonna be so tasty for us. We're going to love having those. So we have cookies that are just going to be cooling off right here. We have some French toast just waiting for us. We're so hungry. We're going to shut off the oven. And if you were here, I would let you press that button with me. So we'll do it together. Ready? I'll hold you and you can reach over. We're going to press the cancel button right here. Ready? You listen, listen. Did you hear that beep? That means the oven's on. That's right. So now it has to cool because it's still hot. Okay? It has to cool off, and we just let that cool off. Cool off. That's what we do. Why don't we sing some songs now, boys and girls, while we're waiting for the cookies to cool off, and then we're going to have a nice breakfast for ourselves. And you help me make all of that. All right. Have my tea. And so what are you going to do today, boys and girls? Are you going to go outside and play? Looks like it might be a nice day. I hope it is where you are. I hope the sun is out and you get to go outside and play. And enjoy the day, right? Don't stay in too much all day. So let's sing some. How about if we sing, if you're happy and you know it. And we will do three things to start. And this seems so bright, let's just shut that off. We will do three things to, with for that song. We will do, we will clap our hands, we will stomp our feet, and we will snap our fingers. Right, boys and girls? So I would like you to follow along, and we'll do that. And it's first, next, and last. Three things. So, here we go, we're singing now, ready? <laughs> If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. See, that's two things, not one more. If you're happy and you know it, snap your fingers. If you're happy and you know it, snap your fingers. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, snap your fingers. Okay, now we're gonna do all three of those. So, it would be, clap your hands, you're going to stomp your feet, and you're going to snap your fingers. There's three things, okay? First, next, and last. 
If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Ready? Three things. One. Stomp your feet and snap your fingers. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Ready? Snap, snap. Very good. Good job, boys and girls. Now let's sing. How about the whales on the bus? Time for singing. We just need singing and songs right now. The whales on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The whales on the bus go round and round, all through the town. The driver on the bus says, move on back, move on back, move on back. The driver on the bus says, move on back all through the town. Oh, my tambourine. The baby on the bus says, wah, 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 wah. The baby on the bus says, wah, 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 all through the town. How about, oh, what's another song? How about, I'm trying to think. I'm just trying to think here. What's a song that you like? We did that one, The Wheels on the Bus. How about, Old MacDonald Had a Farm? You know that. I know you do. Old MacDonald Had a Farm. E-I-E-I-O. And on his farm he had a, a duck. With a quack quack here and a quack quack there. Here a quack, there a quack, everywhere a quack quack. Old MacDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. And on his farm he had a... What do you think, boys and girls? What did he have on his farm? How about he had a... Bunny rabbits don't really make any noise. Yep, I know. He could have bunny rabbits. How about chickens? There you go. And on his farm he had some chickens. E-I-E-I-O. With a cluck cluck here and a cluck cluck there. Here a cluck, there a cluck, everywhere a cluck cluck. Old McDonald had a farm. fun. We sang some songs and we, I think it's time for us to, to try out the wonderful food that we cooked together. Let's do that. That's fun. Let's see. We have, we have our cookies that we baked. Those are ready. We have some broccoli. For those of you who like broccoli, not everyone has to have, <laughs> have some broccoli, but I'll put it on your plate just in case you, you want to have some, you would like some. So here's a plate from Miss Sharon. And he has a nice blue plate for you. And I have your fork right here. Alrighty. Alrighty then. So we have French toast right here. And I think that we could cut that up, right? So we have a piece of French toast for Miss Shannon. And we will cut up your French toast and I'll put it on your plate. French toast. And we'll give you a little syrup. And you also have a cookie for dessert. Look at that. You did such a good job making cookies. Nice chocolate chip cookies for you. I'll put one right there. But you have to have some broccoli then. If you're having a chocolate chip cookie, you have to have just a little bit of broccoli. If you like it, you can have a lot of broccoli. If you don't like it, you still have to have just a little bit of broccoli. All right. So we'll just put one piece of broccoli on here. Okay? So if you could eat that, I would be happy. Just one. And maybe you'll like it. Okay? You try it. Maybe you'll like it. And I'll cut this up for you. And you'll have some French toast. And I'll put a little... There we go. 
And that's all my... I'll give you some syrup. It's right here. See that? Okay, we'll pour some syrup on this for you. Just want you to be happy. Have a nice little breakfast for yourself. I really did pour syrup on that. Because <laughs> I want you to have that. So this is your little breakfast, boys and girls. Okay? You have some French toast. You have a nice chocolate chip cookie. And you have some broccoli. Because it's good for you. So you must be have a little broccoli. Just a little. So that's your breakfast from Miss Sharon. And I'll have mine right over here, too. I have my breakfast, too. Oh, that was so nice to be able to make that with you. Oh, I just love that. We can do that together. So now what we could do, let's sing the alphabet song. Okay, why don't we do that this morning? Let's sing the alphabet song. And we can do that with the alphabet, which is what I would... Okay, so let's put the alphabet up on the board. Yeah, here we go. Oh, where's Miss Sharon? There she is. She's over here. I'll go on this side. Okay? There we go. Let's sing the alphabet song. Let me move that over. How's that? Can everyone see that at home? There we go. All right. So I will have something to point with. I could use a marker right here. We're going to sing the alphabet song this morning because we do this every day. It's so important. Okay? To keep up with your letters even on a Sunday. It's not work. It's about just because you enjoy that. Because then you can read and you can write. Ready? So we're going to point and we'll sing the alphabet. Ready? Sing with me. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O. So you got to slow down there. L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S. T U V W X Y and Z. Now I know my. I'm here. A B C's. Thank you so much for singing with me. Right. So now, boys and girls, if I point to a letter, you tell. Take a guess at what sound that letter makes. All right, because they have names. Let's try a couple. How about, uh, how about this letter? What letter is that? Over here. That's the letter T. That's right. Very good. And that has the sound of T. That has the sound of T. So we won't, no, we'll just leave that alone. Sorry, boys and girls, for that noise in the background. Um, the letter T has the sound of take. T. It has the sound of T, as in the word take. Like that. And here we have the letter right next to it is the letter S. That's right. And that has the sound of S as in the word snake. S. S. Okay, so that's our alphabet. We sang our alphabet. We took a, le a look at those letters and what they look like. Right, boys and girls? There we go. We'll put that right here. And now why don't we just read a story together? Let's do that. Okay? Let's just... We have a nice story. I have a dinosaur book. Some of you love dinosaurs. I think there's some of you out there who do. I have an older kind of, look at that. Isn't that nice? Let's see. Dinosaur, dinosaur. This is called Dinosaur Story. It's just a book that I had because I'm not able to really go to the library. So I have to use the stories that I have here. The books that I have. Oh, those are dinosaur bones. That's called a skeleton. Oh, because dinosaurs lived a very long time ago, boys and girls. They don't really live anymore here. They were, were here a long time ago, and now all we really have are the, the bones of the, of the dinosaurs who used to live here. But this was a, this was a very, this was a Tyrannosaurus rex, a T-Rex skeleton. Look at his teeth. He had big teeth. Whoa, right? And then this is one of the bigger dinosaurs. It was very big. It was called a Patasaurus. Look at that dinosaur. He's pretty big, huh? Logan, oh, Logan, look at that one. Look at that, CJ. We love dinosaurs. That's right. They're so big. 
Let's see. And then we have, on this page, we have, well, I thought it was, okay, because of this, oh, Science, let me read this. This dinosaur is very big. It was longer than a trailer truck. It was heavier than 10 elephants put together. It was so heavy that every step it took must have sounded like thunder. Because of this, scientists named it Brontosaurus, which means thunder lizard. Today, this dinosaur has a new name. Oh, I see. A patasaurus, it's called. But I knew it as a Brontosaurus. That's, so it's the same one, Brontosaurus or Patasaurus. And they all lived, they lived like in families, the dinosaurs. See that? They had dinosaur families. They lived on land and in the water. Oh. And then this dinosaur was the enemy of the, of the Apatosaurus. That looks like a T-Rex to me, but they have here the name of that, Allosaurus, was the enemy of Apatosaurus. It was not as big as Apatosaurus, but it was fierce and quick. Mm. It killed the Apatosaurus and other dinosaurs for food. Most of the dinosaurs used to eat like leaves and, and grass and things like that, but some of the dinosaurs would go hunting for other dinosaurs. They did. They did do that. But it was not easy for Allosaurus to kill this dinosaur. Look at that one with the spikes on his back. Whoa. This dinosaur was well protected. It's called a Stegosaurus, which means covered lizard. Stegosaurus's back was covered with large pointed plates. Yes. It was hard for Allosaurus to make a meal of Stegosaurus because of those spikes that stuck out. And then we have over here, that is a smaller dinosaur. He was about the size of a person. He wasn't very big, but he was fast. And he would be looking, he would try to catch the birds. His name was Ornith, <laughs> something very similar to that, Ornithesis. <laughs> and oh, it did catch the birds, look. Oh, see that? It jumped up in the air, it has big long, Claws. They look different from the birds we know today, though. On each wing, they had three claws, and they had sharp teeth on their beaks. So the birds were different. They could fly from tree to tree, but they could not fly as far as birds can today. Oh, look at this one. Do you know what that one is? Whoa. That is... The first dinosaurs lived on Earth millions of years ago. This is a Proteros... Pro... Toss... <laughs> Proceratops was one of the new dinosaurs. It was a plant-eating dinosaur. Right? So he, he ate leaves and plants and grass. And they laid eggs. See, they laid eggs like chickens lay eggs. They laid eggs and they had a nest. And then their babies hatched from the eggs just like chickens do, little baby chicks. There's a triceratops. What else do we have here? Triceratops was a plant eater also, but then the T-Rex was always coming for them because he was a meat eater. So he wanted to eat the other dinosaurs, but they had big spikes on their face. Look at that, all right. Then we have Tyrannosaurus, Tex, Tyrannosaurus Rex was taller than a two-story house. Ooh. He often went after these duck-billed dinosaurs. They were called duck-bills. See? But they stayed together in a herd so the T-Rex couldn't catch them. Oh, they used to fight each other, too. They just didn't get along with anyone, even each other. Oh, boy. Those T-Rex. Millions and millions of years went by. Then all the dinosaurs died out. One by one, they died until there were no more dinosaurs left anywhere. They just died out. And then people came. 
when people started to come to be on the earth. And now all we have left for the dinosaurs are their bones, their skeleton. That's about it. For the dinosaurs, that was all they, that was what we had. That was what we watched. That's what we learned about. <laughs> Good morning, Jessica. <laughs> you missed the dinosaur story. <laughs> That's right, boys and girls. So I think that, um, why don't we sing? Why don't we sing another song? Let's do that. Let's do, um, let's do the little duckling song. Oh, I don't have my little, but I have a tambourine. We'll use that. Ready? Sing along with me, boys and girls. <laughs> I'm little duck, went swimming one day over the hills and far away. Mommy duck said, quack, 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 and only four little ducks. Four little ducks went swimming one day over the hills and far away. Mommy duck said quack, 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 but only three little ducks came back. Three little ducks went swimming one day over the hills and far away. Mommy duck said quack, 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 but only two little ducks. Swimming one day over the hills and far away. Mommy duck said quack, 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 but only one little duck came back. One little duck went swimming one day over the hills and far away. <laughs> what was that? Mommy duck said quack, 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 but only, but no little duck came swimming back. Oh no, boys and girls, no little. So then she went out the next day. A sad mommy duck went swimming one day over the hills and far away. Mommy duck said quack, 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 quack. Oh, and all oh, five little ducks came back. Yay! Right, boys and girls? They all came back. They missed their mommy and they wanted to go home and be with her. Right? Today is such a nice day. It's a new Sunday, a new day, and today's Sunday, April 12th, boys and girls. Did we even write that on the board? How would we ever remember that? Oh my goodness, I have my marker. We didn't do the date yet. The date yesterday was April 11th, but today is April 12th, boys and girls. So we write April. A P R I April eleventh uh twelfth one which way two right there two sixteen oh because it's backwards boys <laughs> let's go this way I think is that oh there we go I did it right it's not easy April twelfth Sunday, April 12th. Tomorrow will be Monday. But today is Sunday. So, boys and girls, there we go. I hope you had a nice time at the story train today on Cooking Day Sunday. I have my new clock, which I got from someone very special to me. Gave me a brand new a clock for me to use for story train. Here we go. I'll turn it on because it's almost time to say... See you next time. But <laughs> and then you press the button again when it comes around. All aboard. Well, thank you, boys and girls, for joining me here today on the Story Train Special Cooking Day Sunday edition. <laughs> Friends will always be forever you and me, learning and sharing with friends, with friends. I like you cause you're you, you like me, yes you do, laughing and sharing with friends, with friends. For now we'll say adieu, but that just means till next time. But smile, don't be blue. We're always together, 
My heart is there with you. That's right, boys and girls. I'm here every day at 9 a.m. for the story train. Seven days a week right now. For the time being, okay? While well, we're just trying to get through this, this, the next few weeks. <laughs> so I'll see you tomorrow on the story train. Have a wonderful day, boys and girls, and enjoy, enjoy the day. See you tomorrow.